Hey guys, how's it going? Um, still working on this uh, toy saw. Uh, I will show you the the goods and the bads on this build. Um, I did did manage to weld my block to the cylinder. Um, I welded it all the way around. It was a pain in the butt. And then I also put JB weld around it. Uh, this one I had real good access to. I'm pretty sure that one's airtight, but these other ones looked pretty pitty and porous. Uh, so I put JB weld on them just to be on the safe side. Uh, so the upside is it's on there. Downside, uh, I put too much heat into it and warped my jug. I did manage to get the piston, uh, fitting back in it, but, uh, after straight honing it to square the bore back up, because at this point it's just, uh, Let's see if I can make it work with this jug. Um, I went through, the, it, it warped the jug enough where it, it, it took the, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it warped this part of the jug out enough to where when I straighten the bore back out, the, the plating's gone. Uh, just a little bit above the intake port and around around the intake port. Um, how I'm going to fix that problem is I'm still going to carry on. I want to build this thing and like proof of concept to make sure i can get it to work because i know it's not gonna last long i mean i can't catch it can't even actually can't even feel it uh with my finger the transition from that plating to where it's not because the way that that hone did it it feather edged it in real good but that's gonna wear quick and then it's possible there's potential where that plating could lift and catch into the piston but i'm not worried about that at this point uh, second go around if this works good what I will do is I will tack weld this on in four spots I'll just bzz, bzz, bzz with my TIG and I'll probably let it cool down maybe put five uh, let it cool down and then I'll just epoxy the whole thing and use the epoxy to seal it instead of trying to I was trying to fully fuse it on there and that was a bad idea but, uh, I am not no master at welding aluminum, but uh, from I was talking to some other people, and they say with this being cast that the way it is, the as soon as the welds start to cool down, it's going to pull and distort the cylinder anyway. So even if I was a good welder, it probably would have uh, still distorted the jug. But I did c cut the combustion chamber on it, and I did cut the base. I cut the combustion chamber to the same taper that is on the on the piston and yeah I did sand some on the piston too so I could get this fitting back in there there's just a tight spot but I can get it all the way up and through if I twist it to the side she she clears free I got just one little more spot I got to work on getting it out of there but uh, I'll get it and like I said this will be just just proof of concept uh, another problem I am encountering is I had to mount the block this way to match the port uh, these two bolt holes here really needed to be this way for my carburetor to line up and how I plan on solving that well, I don't see my my piece now well, anyway the piece that that goes in here for the carburetor mount I don't know where I sat it I'm hoping I can find it because I'm going to need it for a pattern but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with probably like a 3 8 thick piece of aluminum and then I can put these two holes in it, countersink it, so I can bolt it down. Uh, that'll hold the block down. And then the bolts that go this way, being that thick of aluminum, I should just be able to drill and tap and put studs or just thread bolts in to hold the carburetor. And on the plus side of, of doing that, I really wished I could find that adapter, but I don't know where I sat it. On the plus side of, of doing that, I have a 372 carb on the way too, but I'm, I don't know what carb I'm going to run yet. I've got I've got a 660 carb, but the bolt holes are, are slanted. And then I have a Chinese knockoff, uh, I think this is a 460 carb, and then I'll have a 372 carb. Whichever one I feel will fit, fit the best and... It'd be easiest to hook up the throttle and 
and work the best is what I'll go with. But e either way, with that plate that I'm going, I can still have this carb set straight, offset my holes for that. I could probably actually make that fit two or three different two or three different carburetors. You know, just have uh, multiple holes and threads in it for different different carburetors. But that's my idea on that. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated on the on the loop in this thing. It uh, this. But I still got to do my uppers and my exhaust and figure out figure out my numbers on this. I'm probably going to cut this intake port all the way down to the base. I might even cut uh, all this stuff off it. And I might even like take that gasket right there. I might even cut that case out right there. I don't have to worry about intake timing on this because it's it's got reeds and what i'm hoping for is with the bigger carb i can well, move more through it i'm planning on running this on nitro too but uh i can force a bunch through it the reeds act as a one-way check they let my fuel through and then when the piston starts to come down these close off seal it up and i'm hoping i'll get more pressure and volume stuffing up my transfers instead of blowing out through the carburetor i'm hoping this is going to drastically improve my performance on this but it's it's all just a goofballs backwoods experiment at the moment so but i i thought i'd post this keep you updated uh so i will be buying another cylinder and reed block and uh tacking it on but I, I plan on getting it running with this one just to see if I can even get the concept to work I've, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this on a chainsaw I've played with reed dirt bikes before and I know I know you know right reed combination can really make some big improvements on your bike so I'm hoping the same thing will apply to my chainsaw but uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, you guys have a good one